Hey guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install stock recovery on a rooted or a phone with custom recovery on. So first up, as you can see, my phone is rooted here using root checker. So before we get into the process, first of all, what we need to do is we need to go to settings, more, about device, and find your build number. Tap on your build number, and as you saw there, it says five steps, and then now I'm a developer. Go into developer options, and turn on USB debugging. Right guys, so on the computer side, what we need to do is download Odin, which is the program we're gonna be flashing the stock recovery with onto the phone. So if we scroll down, we can, we have a list of options here so the top ones we don't need to look at we need to look at the bottom ones down here and we need to make sure we have the samsung drivers as well as the latest Odin update so let's download the drivers and the Odin update so if we scroll down here confuse Odin 3.12.3 and scroll down again we get a download link which we should download and keep in mind without downloading this you won't be able to download stock recovery on your phone and it isn't trusted so might as well while that loads we need to go onto another website called Sam Mobile, which we will be downloading the ROM from. So if you go into here, Sam Mobile, you guys need to make an account up here. I've already logged in and made one. Once you've done that, you need to go into firmware. And once you're in firmware, you need to write your model number. So I have a Galaxy S3, so my model number is GT i GT i9 300. Sorry about the slow lag. Samsung Galaxy S3 yet? Yeah. Search. So here you have a selection of. ROMs like depending on your country. So choose a country. I'm from the UK. So I'll be going down to United Kingdom. And also choose your mobile carrier. So I have EE. Let's get that load. If your phone was unlocked then there might be another options, I don't know, but I can check. So, United Kingdom. Yeah, so you have to choose out of one of these. I don't know what BTU means, but EE and choose your version. The top one is the newest version, and you can check when the versions came out down here. So I'll be choosing the first one. Let that load. Scroll down. And choose a regular download. If you have problem you can do fast download. And confirm download. And download will start after the video. Alright, our download is ready and we download. Save it in download folder. And while that's been while that's downloading, we can go into our downloads and we can extract our USB drivers, which is a vital process. Otherwise your device isn't gonna work. Okay, so here extract our files here and this USB driver is in a raw file so you might have to download WinRAR to extract these files 
and also let's extract Odin. And I'll see you guys when the rest has been downloaded. Alright, so all the files have now been downloaded. So first we're gonna be downloading the Samsung USB drivers on our computer. So comp go through the setup and let the drivers install. Alright, so now we've downloaded all of our files, we need to put our phone in download mode. And to do that, you first turn on your turn off your phone. And then you press volume down, the power button and the home button at the same time. And you'll get a prompt saying warning a custom OS. Click vol press the volume up button and it will say downloading and then we have to plug in our USB to our computer and the rest will be done on our computer yeah. alright so now we've done everything and we've put our phone into download mode we have to open up Odin which we've downloaded And you'll get lots of this text and everything and you need to check for over here where it says added this shows that your phone is connected to the computer so now we press AP and we choose the file that we've downloaded the firmware which I've placed on my desktop and now it will be checking the file So now our files have been checked and you can see it says finished successfully, leaves yes. So then that means we're ready to start. On our phone, we're going we're gonna to be seeing a little blue sign over here. That shows the process has started and the process is on its way. So now our phone's finished the process and it's rebooting as it would when you've reset your phone. So here we can see. And the phone boots up. At this point, we can take out our cable and let the phone restart. On the first boot, it will take some time as it is the first boot using the new firmware. All right, so now our, my phone has booted up and if you go on root checker and verify our root, sorry root access is not properly installed and there we go don't forget to like comment and subscribe